Here I am on the grounds of Forest Lawn Glendale, and I'm gonna show you Michael Jackson's grave, the real location of Michael Jackson's grave. A lot of people get it wrong, but I'm gonna show you exactly where it is. It's, and I'm gonna show you two of his close, well, one of his close friends, and someone who he really admired. Their graves as well, because they're here at Forest Lawn. And I have a feeling that's why Michael Jackson is buried here. Why his family buried him here. I'm not sure if he decided it. Does anyone know? If you know, write in the comments, please. On the grounds of Forest Lawn, doesn't that kind of remind you of Snow White, uh, the Seven Doors Cottages? It reminds me of it. Maybe that's just me. I don't know. Michael Jackson is right there, behind there, at the very, very end. I'm gonna show you the windows where he's buried under, well, not buried under, he's, it looks like he's on the second floor, but he's not, when you go around back. Some people have gotten it wrong, they think he's right there, he's not, he's far to the back. So let's take a little look, and I'm gonna show you probably, well, see what I can show you because there's a lot of security on this in this cemetery, which is to be expected. I'm gonna tell you why Michael chose this place as where he wanted to be buried, or why his family did, okay? Because there's two other famous people here that are connected to Michael Jackson, and I think that's probably why he decided to be here. The size of this uh, cemetery is crazy big. It's not as big as uh, Forest Lawn uh, by Universal Studios, the main one, but it's big. So right here is where um, the stage was set up for, oh, somebody's going into the Holy Terrace. That's where Michael is. As I was saying, the stage for, was set up right around here. And also all the seats for Michael Jackson's funeral were right here in front of me. right on this hill. It's kind of going downhill. That's, you know, you know what I mean. So it's coming down this way, stage is here. Now if you saw the funeral, I'll insert a few pictures. Right there, the hearse came through there with the white van. Right through there. So Michael Jackson is in here, and he's at the very, very end, and I just caught a glimpse inside. When I look in, I can see uh, the lights, but I just caught a glimpse inside when the security officer opened it up to come back outside, and I saw the stained glass windows behind Michael, and he's directly straight ahead. Now, other people on YouTube have said that he's behind these windows. He is not. This is the front entrance to the Holy Terrace. He's at the far end, and I'm gonna show you those windows where he is. He's in the uh, Sanctuary of Ascension, which is at the very, very, very end of the Holy Terrace, straight ahead. And I just caught a glimpse of the inside. Of course, I didn't catch it on film, I'm sorry. But yeah, he's right in there. So I'm gonna go around and show you exactly where Michael Jackson is. So, I was just talking to a few ladies that are right there with the security guard who uh, their mother is buried in there. And Michael Jackson is buried just over from their mother. Anyways, so they said that there's music playing all the time. It was decorated for Christmas. And right behind me right now, the security guards are with them, letting them in after hours to go visit their mother. And I caught another glimpse of Michael Jackson's actual sarcophagus but I can't take any pictures and I can't do any um, photography because I don't want to be intrusive but and I think they were about to invite me in but I like to leave people to pay their respects 
and also the security is there. So it's not like I can take any pictures or videos inside, but it's really cool. Uh, his sarcophagus is uh, giant. It's white. It's at the very end, and there look to be flowers around the base of it. Uh, it wasn't as heavily decorated as I thought, but so it's very decorated at all times. Anyway, so they're up there. They all went inside now, but. I can't take any pictures inside, but Michael is in there at the very, very end. And I just actually caught a glimpse. I'm gonna insert some photos of other people's online photos. Hopefully I'll give credit. And uh, yeah, that's where Michael is. Just a little tour of Forest Lawn, Glendale, while I'm here. So I think a big part of why Michael Jackson wanted, or his family wanted him to be buried here, is because of this who was buried right here. There's two people buried here. Well, one in this location, one somewhere else. But why Michael Jackson wanted to be here? Because here is the grave of Walt Disney. That is the statue of the Little Mermaid. Let's see if we can get a close up of the wall. Walter Elias Disney, as you can see right there. This is Walt Disney's area. I am not gonna go beyond the gate here. Pay my respects right here. But yeah, as we all know, Michael Jackson loved everything Disney. So he's probably about half a mile away in the cemetery. The cemetery is huge, but Walt Disney and Michael Jackson, same cemetery. Walt Disney, right over there. Free to mausoleum. Yeah. Okay. So. Some people have asked me in my life and online why I like cemeteries. Well, because they're beautiful. I like to pay my respects to celebrities or rich people. I've had a lot of people in my life pass away. I go visit them regularly. And as a kid, uh, my public school would take us on trips to cemeteries in Toronto and to like history lessons and look at trees and stuff, blah, 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 all that stuff. I found it fascinating. I guess it kept with me. Look, George Washington. He's not buried here though. So yeah, it's kind of cool. I just find it very interesting and also very beautiful. Look at that statue down there, wow. I know we got a good uh, close up of that. I just woke up from a nap, so I'm very garbled and half asleep, but, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. All right. It's very, very windy, so I may have to start speaking up a little bit. Or I should have brought my external mic or my other camera. But I don't like to use professional looking cameras when I'm in uh, certain areas, like cemeteries. I don't know who she is, but that's pretty impressive. This is a beautiful, beautiful cemetery. Although I love cemeteries and visiting them, one thing I don't like is because I have allergies to fresh cut flowers. So a cemetery is probably not the best place for me, especially when there's stuff like that around. And already I think I'm getting stuffed up, stuffed up from them. And my respects to the person who is here just recently. Safe journeys, my friend. See that step coming. Well, if I'd fallen and died, just bury me here, I guess. Whoa. Check out 
check out this view in Forest Lawn Glendale. You can see in front of me right now, right there, I'll zoom in. That's where Michael is. That's all part of the Great Mosley Inn. Connects by that arc, those archways. Yep. There you go. Sorry about all this stuff on my dashboard, but parking in Los Angeles, you get tickets everywhere, like like pay, like ticket stubs. And I tend to leave them. Why? I don't know. If you have an answer, write it in the comments. Don't say because I'm an idiot. And I've made a complete circle and I'm back where Michael is. It's getting a little dark and a little chilly. So the other person that's buried on uh, the grounds here is Elizabeth Taylor. And I, and I was just in there before it closed. And they were, people that work here are very, very nice. Uh, there's no cameras allowed in there. I'll have a picture of what her grave looks like. I got to see the giant angel. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. But Elizabeth Taylor, one of Michael Jackson's best friends, buried here as well. I think that was pre-planned. So, if you want to know where Michael Jackson actually is buried, I'm going to show you right now. Because he's at the far end, and he's right there. See what that smudge is? That white smudge? Oh, that was a close-up of my face. See that white smudge on the wall? That's the Sanctuary of Ascension. Michael Jackson is right there. So, yeah. Michael Jackson is right there. Behind those three stained glass windows. There's one, two, and then another one. That's the back of the Holy Terrace. Or Holly Terrace? Because it's spelled Holly. Hmm, Holly Terrace. So Michael's right up there. A lot of people get it wrong. They think he's buried at the front of the mausoleum. They think he's buried right at the entrance. Nope, he's right at the back and it's right there. Go through those doors when they're open and to the immediate left. And up a bit of stairs, you're going to get up to Michael Jackson, who's right there. Head to the left. Go in there. Make a left. That's where Michael Jackson is. But it's very difficult to get in. You really got to know someone, as they say. But I got to see it. That was kind of cool. <sighs> intricate details of the stained glass behind Michael. All there. And I'll show you around the side. The other window. Right there. It's the Sanctuary of Ascension. I guess I could kind of climb up the wall and try to get a picture through the stained glass. Alright, I'm going to do that. Give me one second. Ugh. This is the view looking out from Michael's grave. Looks out onto this gorgeous, gorgeous landscape. And in case you're thinking about bringing your salamander or your iguana or your lizard of any type, don't. So to recap, Elizabeth Taylor right there. Directly in there, you go, and then you make a left, which is right at the end of the hallway. You want to pay your respects to Elizabeth Taylor and she's behind the statue in the wall. Michael Jackson, right there. Elizabeth Taylor, and Michael Jackson. See how close? Even in death, very, very close. And Walt Disney, far end of the cemetery. <sighs> okay. Skating cold in California. Oh my goodness. I got somewhere else to be. And I'm going to do something really cool tonight. And tomorrow, I'm doing something really cool. I'm going to upload the videos as I can. It takes a while to edit them, put them all together. Ah, but I do it. Okay. Bass. It's kind of bizarre, but as windy as it is, you hear voices or ducks quacking when you're here. I can't tell if it's a duck, but I don't see any water. Or just murmuring and I don't believe in ghosts I don't find cemeteries creepy at all even at night 
Or maybe there's somebody on the other side just talking. I don't know. Maybe it's the crackling of a walkie-talkie. <sighs> I have no idea. Michael Jackson. All right, I gotta end this. I got somewhere to be. Okay, later. Peace. Oh yeah, subscribe. Thousand subscribers to be monetized. Whatever you do.